Madge, how disappointing was that? It seemed like kind of nothing went your way. No, it was disappointing. Um, you know, we put it upon ourselves, I guess, right at the start of the game. We were, uh, yeah, the defence side of things, um, you know, it was probably lacking at the start and it dripped into our game and they then rolled into uh, poor completions and, you know, you put pressure on yourself and, um, you know, we didn't, uh, we didn't sort that out on the run. What did you put that down to, considering last week you started really fast and today you just missed the mark? Yeah, yeah well, we've got to work through that. You know, they, there's no reasons why we couldn't have uh, done the same today. But, uh, you know, every game's a new game. You've got to turn up mentally ready to go. And, you know, whether or not there were little areas in what we need to look at through the week, uh, we'll definitely do that. Match, I think Benji just said on Fox that that wasn't first grade standard from your team. Is, is that a fair comment? Uh, look, there's probably areas of that that, you know, now everyone's got their opinion. So, uh, yeah, but we'll, uh, we'll have a look at, um, you know, how we played and what we need to do. He also said that he would expect you to be likely making changes for next week after it. Is, it, is that something, is that accurate? I'll uh, have another look at the game. We'll go from there, yeah. Are you concerned about Jackson Hastings that the dangerous tackle was put on report for? Because he was obviously no, one of the best. No, it was a rugby league tackle. Ken, how frustrating is that for you, mate, as a, as a player to play as a team to play quite well last week against the Storm, one of the best teams in competition, and to, to play like that today, like what, what is, as a playing group, yeah. how frustrating is that, in the first half in particular? Yeah, I guess it is a bit frustrating. Um, obviously, last week we, I guess, um, did a, stated a blueprint on how we want to play, and I guess, um, you know, it was just, you know, lack of preparation for us um, this week, and, you know, we need to be better in that area. Um, especially us as leaders need to drive that um, as well, so yeah. What's the most disappointing aspect for you, Madge? Is it just the incompletions? Where do you, where were you looking from the um, box that was the most frustrating part for uh, you? Frustrating is what I know this group's capable of, to be honest. Um, yeah, we've shown it. Yeah, we've said it of what we want to do. Um, but we need to own our know, own areas of our game individually to make sure that the team you know, um, has the success and builds pressure. You know, we didn't put any pressure on the opposition whatsoever throughout the game. And if you're going to do that, well, you put it upon yourself. So, you know, we didn't get um, our kicks to the corners and, you know, we didn't have the same D line. So uh, we know that we're capable of doing that. So we've got to go to our, uh, our style of how we want to play. Um, and, you know, you've obviously got an opposition that's going to try and take you away from that. But everyone's got to work towards it. Can you said that you didn't have the... So you didn't have the, it was just like a preparation today. Can you explain that a bit more? Um, no, I, I guess the, the, I guess mental side of things, yeah, we need to be better there. Um, um, so yeah. Is that something like as a leadership group you're talking about there? Like, a, you know, the five or so of you didn't? Oh, just the collective, the, it's the whole team thing. So yeah, we need to be better. Mate, most times last year you weren't quite upset with the effort. Like most times you were pretty happy with it. Like the, today, you feel any different? You feel like that, that side of it was, was fine from Oh, I think there was areas in our effort that definitely could have been better, for sure. Um, yeah, and yeah, you know, you got to turn up, committed every single time you turn up to a rugby league game. Um, yeah, it was disappointing uh, areas out there of, uh, from effort, but that's um, individually and as a team we need to make sure that uh, you know they're the things that you, know, you build within your jersey, isn't it? Yeah, the app, what about the application of the game plan? Could you tell us how different it is with with new halves and, and Jake Simpkin as well as the play? So much football. How different the style you guys play? Like, has that been difficult to, I suppose, to, to translate onto the field this year? No, not at all. I think, yeah, I think at one stage there we we're at forty percent completion. I mean, you know, to build pressure on any opposition is always difficult. But yeah, you know, you've got to be able to win that back throughout a game. Uh, our game plan is very simple, and it's um, you know, the boys can execute that. Uh, we've shown that, so we've got to make sure that yeah, you know, that's our game that we've got to go to and uh, taking responsibility on whether it's a pass or you know the, the pressure and understanding where the game's at you know we just we weren't smart in that area we, we didn't play a smart game today you know we we've got to understand that sometimes a game's going to go against you and momentum's going to go against you so how do you play at that moment in time to, to flip it around so you know we need to be smarter in that area and that's everyone not, not just our spine it's you know, an individual you know making a choice about a pass and those sorts of things as well you mentioned Jackson um, a bit earlier 180 metres I think from, from your five eight I mean if you're looking for positives, you'll probably win yeah. bigger ones today. Yeah, oh, look, they're all trying out there. Um, you know, I see that every single day. Um, but, you know, the boys know what we need to do and, you know, there's a big belief around how we want to play the game. So, you know, we've got to make sure that we get the standards right so then um, we can produce the footy that we know we can.
thoughts on Newcastle match? They had a few out today, but probably there for the taking. Oh, they played well. What's, what's the mood in the in, for both of you? What's what's the mood like in that in that dressing room after the match? Is it one of sort of anger? Is it is it frustration? What's the general mood after a performance? Oh, it's like disappointing. That? You know, the, I've got a committed group. I've got a, a group that's really committed to their training, and you know, we've obviously talked about the the capabilities of what we are. So yeah, we've been uh, you know kicked a bit at the moment. So we just got to make sure we go back to um, working on what we need to do this week. Uh, he should be close. He should be close. Uh, he had a little bit of a, a twinge in um, his hamstring, but he'd be fine, I think. Well, can I just quickly ask, concussion? There was a couple of incidents there in the first half where I think you had one of the players knocked out and then the play was stopped only once the bunker interfered while your trainer was asking for, for play to be stopped. Like, is it, at the moment, is it hard to kind of get your head around it as a coach? Oh, I'm not going to go make an excuse around our performance, no, no. but they definitely need to have a look at that, I thought. Some of the decisions around how and when that it comes into play. We had people rotating all over the place at one stage, but you know, I'm not going to take that away from you know, where we need to be as uh, from a performance. Was there confusion over the Noffa one as well? That, that one, almost, he almost said like he didn't remember a hit as he was coming off. Yeah, I'm still trying to work that one out. And if they did go back for a hit to his head and it was in a tackle, should it not have been a penalty for a high tackle at that point? Those things need to be sorted out. You know, I, it definitely needs to have a good look at it because you know you've got someone that's not here getting a feel for what's going on and mate Dave Nofaluma said he had nothing wrong with him so I guess you know trying to work out what is right and wrong in that space uh, is something there the game's definitely got to get a, get a hold of um, yeah I mean we had a lot of changes but as I say <laughs> I'm not taking that away from where we need to be as a team.